Hey guys, I hope you're ready for a massive closet declutter and organize. I'm going to be going through all of my clothes, getting rid of a lot, doing some breakfast meal prep, some freezer breakfast sandwiches, organizing in my closet, and just doing a lot. I hope you're ready. Let's do this together. Welcome to Jamie's Journey. I hope you're ready. We're going to be doing a lot today. So first off, I want to say thank you for joining me. I am truly grateful if you spend any part of your day or your week with me. I'm grateful for you and that you choose to spend a part of your day with me. I appreciate you and it does not go unnoticed. So we have a lot we're going to be tackling today. So the plan for today, I took the twins to school. Avery rides the bus. We got her on the bus, took the twins to school, came back, and I had a lot that I wanted to get done, mainly decluttering my closet. I have too much stuff in there. I've been wanting to go through it, so that's the plan for today. So thank you for being patient with this video. I actually filmed it a couple of weeks ago, and I was going to finish it up last week and then post it last week, but something came up. One of my daughters won a huge award at school. It was a big deal. It only happens a couple of times a year. We were all so proud of her, and it took me out of the home all week long. Instead of being home during the day, I was with her, honoring her, recognizing her, and it was just one of those mom moments that I needed to be there for her. So thank you for being patient, but I hope you're ready to do some decluttering today. So here I was just doing a quick wipe down of my backsplash using my Jaws cleaning wand. You can use this to clean windows as well. I will have it linked in the description as well as a 25% off coupon code if you want to use any of the Jaws cleaning products. I, You'll see me using them all throughout this video. Their cream cleanser is awesome. I love their granite cleaner. I love them, their multi-purpose cleaner, their kitchen degreaser, and their bathroom cleaners. Those are my favorite and my everyday cleaners but again I have a 25% off coupon code and I'll throw this out there you are welcome to shop wherever you want I don't get a kickback if you use my link at all so I promise you I'm not pushing that for any particular reason but they do sell it on Amazon which you can get it super quickly but you can't use the 25% off coupon code so if you guys want it you can use the the 25% off coupon code I'll have it linked in the description <music>
So how are things going these days? We are almost to Halloween, which I can't believe. Halloween is actually my favorite holiday. I'm really into scary movies. I love a good scary movie. Like I want to be scared. I would say my favorite scary movies, I love The Strangers. So if you're into scary movies, you have to watch that. If you don't like scary movies, do not watch The Strangers. It is such a creepy movie and I don't get spooked too often, but that one scares me. That and then the classic, The Shining. That is a creepy movie. Shining and The Strangers are my go-to movies around Halloween. I love being scared. Um, the girls, well, we've been having a lot of family movie nights on the weekends. We've been watching a lot of um, Halloween movies. I pulled out the Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Was it Double Double Toil and Trouble? I think that's what it is. I watched that when I was little and it was fun because I recommended it and then we watched it as a family. And it was just kind of fun because there's twins in it. So my twins thought it was pretty cool that they could see identical twins. My twins are fraternal twins. So that was kind of cool. And I was trying to explain to Avery, Avery was, cause I told her that I used to watch that movie when I was little. And she said, how old are these girls now? And I'm like, they're my age. They were born in 1986, I believe. And that like blew her mind that she was watching a little girl on screen, little girls on screen, but then they were my age. So we've been having a lot of fun with this holiday season and just trying to, do as much as we can as a family. What I like Laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes Laughing with my friends under the sky Following our hearts so then we take a ride Wherever I always try to let my spirit fly Fly away That's the only way to get that high High So I just went through my closet, I think it was in February, and typically I go through my closet once a year, and that is totally fine and good enough. But there's something that has happened, shifted within the past six months, or even more so the past year. My style has changed. I, I mean, I have a pretty casual, basic style in general, but I've even noticed that, like, so I'm getting different types of jeans, um, my sweatshirts. So I used to like more fitted sweatshirts and I find myself gravitating to more oversized sweatshirts. So I feel like there's, in years past, it was like, I would just want to switch up my shoes or I would just want to switch up my nicer shirts or my my athleisure. But I feel like right now, all of those categories, I'm wanting to switch up and I'm just feeling like my skinny jeans just feel too small when they're not. My sweatshirts, I feel like they feel too small. Like I want oversized. And I know that's because the, the new style is kind of slowly creeping in. Um, and I don't even realize it. So I've just found myself not wearing a lot that I have in here. So I really wanted to go through everything and get rid of everything that I don't wear and donate it to someone who can wear it.
I do have plans to reorganize this and put some better organizers, but I'm going to tackle that at a different time. If you guys need cheap organizers, so those are dish pan, dish pans from the Dollar Tree, and it's just a good way to kind of group whatever you have. I like grouping light clothes together, and it's just a cheap way if you're on a budget. Those buckets are also from the Dollar Tree, so just an option if you need a budget-friendly way to organize. Again, maybe in the spring when I'm doing spring cleaning, I'll come in here. So. That was a bra drawer, which I'm not going to declutter my bras on camera. You're also going to see me here in a little bit. I'll pull open my underwear drawer. I am not going to declutter my underwear on camera. I think that's a little weird. Even like when I fold laundry, I always make sure I edit out or hide our family's underwear because I just think it's a little bit weird to be putting on a public forum. So I did declutter my bra drawer and got rid of a lot of bras because these days I'm wearing bralettes. I very rarely wear a real bra. I guess that's the perk of being small chested. I don't need to wear like a full on bra with um, underwire. So, um, and then I also decluttered my underwear. So I didn't show those on camera, FYI. So these shirts are, I honestly don't wear very often, but I don't get rid of them because therefore if we go back to our college, which is not too far from us and go to a football, basketball, we've taken the girls to various games. So these are like those t-shirts that you keep um, for those specific situations. Like I said, I don't wear them very often. And then this, these are all my running shorts and I know I have a lot or my workout shorts. So running and workout, which depending on the type of workout, I like to switch up what shorts I wear. Okay. So this can kind of go right into high point and low point to the week. So the low point, and this, this is very lighthearted. The low point is going back to what I was talking about, how I can tell my style is changing. I can feel what's in style starting to creep in. I think it always creeps in slowly. Like I remember when skinny jeans started to come in style and I was like, oh, this is so weird. I, they feel so tight. I don't like them. And it took me a year or two to love skinny jeans. And now I'm having a hard time leaving them behind, but I can feel myself wanting more high rise and wanting, wanting like the mom style jeans more so. So it's just hard because I think I'm trying to get new jeans. I got a pair of flare jeans that I love. I got these mom style jeans and now I'm trying to figure out shoes. And I just feel so kind of overwhelmed because I personally don't like, maybe it's my body type, but you know, I'm short and petite. And so sometimes when I look at like the baggy jeans and then these shoes, it just looks very, I don't know how to explain it. I just have, I'm having a hard time figuring out what jeans I like, what shoes to wear with flare jeans and mom style jeans. It's kind of tough and I'm trying to figure, figure it all out. Um, trying to learn a lot from Instagram. I started following some accounts that can hopefully help me. And I was kind of thinking it's kind of the same thing. I share cleaning tips and tricks and you guys can learn from me. And then I go online and try to learn more about fashion and how to dress myself these days, at least when I leave the house and I'm not wearing leggings and a sweatshirt. What's your weakness? What's your type? Somehow I want to know all about you. Deep connection, lights a spark. You already know me, it's in the dark. We're dreamers. All right, 
<laughs> I'm always behind the curve of style. Stuff comes in and then I'm always a year or two behind. But it's funny because, when did I go through this closet? Maybe it was February? And I remember looking at these boots and I'm like, yeah, right. Like I'm ever going to wear these again. Well now, these boots are starting to come back in style. I think. So, not that I really care about what's in style, but if I already have them, my you and I, we come Alright, it probably doesn't look that much different, to be honest with you, but I think there were a lot more clothes stuffed in here. So, I mean, the proof is right there. I did get rid of a lot of stuff, so I feel better. No more piles. There's definitely less stuff up here, which is nice. And lots of stuff. One garbage and all of those are donation. We have a local church that they will take it and they kind of create like a little store. When I say store, they don't sell it, but they kind of set it up for a store. So if someone needs something, they can come in, rifle through it and pick what they need. So that's typically where we take that or to a women's shelter, but feels good. So what I'm gonna do now so I do want to get some hangers, I think, for my jeans when I primarily had just skinny jeans. It's like they were all skinny jeans. But now that I'm using, now that I'm actually branching out and I have some mom jeans, um, some flare jeans, those I actually want to see more displayed and not rolled up. So when I want a specific pair, I can easily grab it. This is stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'll probably just shove it somewhere because this is going to be... A Valentine's Day gift. I don't know what I had gotten these for Avery, but <laughs> I had tucked it away. So Valentine's Day, I'm always looking for like practical little gifts um, to give them on Valentine's Day along with a little bit of candy. So I'll give these to Avery. These unicorn socks to Emery. Put that in the basement. And then I clearly forgot to give this to them last year. So I'm gonna tuck this stuff away for Valentine's Day and I'm gonna put a reminder in my phone so I don't forget. Obviously saying the low point to my week is feeling overwhelmed of the new styles and trying to figure out what shoes go with different pairs of jeans and all of that. Obviously that's not like anything too crazy, but I'm just feeling very overwhelmed trying to figure all of that out. So um, I'm trying to learn, but if you guys have any good accounts to follow on Instagram or maybe on TikTok, let me know because I need to learn. Um, but anyways, that's the low point. It's kind of overwhelming. The high point to my week is we have some fun stuff coming up. And, you know, sometimes, especially when you're a parent to young kids and you're in that, you know, school and activities and the day-to-day -day grind, sometimes it's nice to have fun things different than the day-to-day -day grind and stuff with your family to look forward to. And I think that a lot of times now with our friends, we're all so busy. It's not always easy to make the time to hang out, but we, Mike and I recently got invited to a concert in a couple weekends. So I'm really excited about that. And then after that, our friends have an annual Halloween party. It's just for adults. And that's always lots of fun. And I'm really excited about the costume Mike and I picked out. I will share pictures. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. The Halloween party, they um, it's a contest too. And I'm like, oh, I love Halloween and I'm very competitive. So we've never won before. And I told Mike, we have to win this year. And I think the costumes we have picked out, 
I think we have a good chance of winning. I'm really, really excited. So just having, you know, a couple weekends in a row where we just get to go have fun with our friends. Um, and then of course we're very grateful because our parents, one weekend, Mike's parents will be watching them or one night. And then the following, um, when we go to the Halloween party, my parents will. So they will be having fun with grandma and grandpa and Mike and I will be having fun with some friends. So I'm really excited and looking forward to those. So I thought I would just kind of update you with what's going on in our household. So we're kind of at a slow period right now, which is kind of nice. Avery is playing softball, so fall softball, but there's no games. It's just practices, and then they'll have a league in the spring and the next summer. So they're just practicing, so nothing too crazy. Mike's coaching her. The twins are playing soccer, which they love but they will be done next week. And then Avery will start up volleyball and basketball in November and December. I love watching her play softball, but I'm really excited to watch her try something new with volleyball. Basketball, she was on the fence this year, but we encouraged her to at least try it because she's, she's liked basketball in the past, but then last year it got tough. So she was seven last year and they mix boys and girls. And at this age, the boys just dominate the girls, you know, and the boys only pass to the boys, which I don't blame them. Um, and so it's just, it's defeating. So this year they split up the boys and the girls. When they get to third grade, they'll split up the boys and the girls. So we're like, just give it a try this year. If you don't like it after this year, you don't have to play. Um, and she was excited to play. So Mike's always gonna coach her on that. So. Um, we'll probably get a little bit busier in November and December, but watching your child work hard at something and just enjoy playing or doing some sort of activity personally brings me a lot of joy. So I'm excited. Okay, so I went around and don't mind, I know I have socks on. I started to take them off, but I am in desperate need of a pedicure. My feet, my toes look so jacked up. It's from running. They look horrible. I'm like, I can't put this on the internet. It looks so bad. So my socks are getting a little wet. That's okay. I have a pedicure with a friend scheduled, I think in two weeks. So socks, but anyways, so I just cleaned the carpet in here and I'm going to go through one more time and not put out any water in solution and just extract the solution. The key when you're cleaning your carpets is you want to make for sure that you are getting up as much moisture and wetness as you can. That is key. You don't want any extra moisture. So I'm gonna go through and do one more extraction and we should be good. All of the clothes I will be donating and then there was one bag of garbage. But stay tuned because later on this evening I'll be vacuuming and mopping and then preparing the freezer breakfast sandwiches that I wanted to prep up for the week. Right, 
So it's pretty much done with the exception of the few shoes that I'll put under there. I'll wait till it's completely dry. It's a little dry, not fully dry, but just a little spruce up. It's nothing dramatic. That's kind of what I say about my pantry. It's like when I go in there and organize, it's not like it's this like dramatic change. Just making do with what I have um, and just going through and ultimately decluttering, but I feel good. I don't think it looks drastically better. Like I'd be curious if Mike even notices that I decluttered in here. I already told him I was going to, but I'm just wondering if I didn't, if he would notice, but I can tell a difference. I can feel a difference and I feel better. It feels good to do this. If you need to do it, you should go do this right now. You should. So the breakfast sandwich recipe, I came across it on TikTok and I was like, oh, this would be a good idea. The girls all love pretty much any breakfast food. Breakfast food is a hit in our house. So I came across this and I was like, this looks super easy. I love having freezer meals because, you know, I hate to cook and unless I'm really in the mood, I just I hate to cook. And so if at least there's something in the freezer that I can pull out, it just, it makes my life easier and better. So I made these and honestly, we ended up eating these for, for dinner one night when no one wanted to cook. So I, let's see, all I did was take, I'll try to write it out in the description. Let's hope I remember, but I just took six eggs and you can put in whatever you want. I added sausage. I had already cooked the sausage, of course, ahead of time. Parmesan cheese, shredded cheese. You could add in veggies, but my kids, eh, I don't think they like veggies in their eggs, like peppers or you could do ham. Whatever you want, add it. I just did six eggs and then I put it in, I think it's called a quarter size can or pan. I think that's what it's called. And I lined it with parchment paper and then I cooked it at 400 for eight to 10 minutes. And then when I take it out, you'll see me, um, I'll make it into breakfast sandwiches. So I was doing this and then also rubbing some butter on English muffins and bagel thins. I didn't know since this was the first time, I didn't know if the girls would like a bagel better or an English muffin. So I decided to just do both and we'll just see what they like more. Maybe they'll like both, but I did the bagel thins because I was afraid a full on bagel would be a little bit too much for the girls. So after I put the butter on the English muffins and the bagels, I was toasting them for a few minutes before I assembled 
the sandwiches. But this evening was so, it felt so weird to me and this is something I'm still getting used to. So for four years, you know, Mike has always coached pretty much all of Avery sports. And so from the time the twi twins were born, you know, we would be going to Avery's games and I would always be by myself with them. And I say this very lightly, I'm not by myself, obviously, um, not obviously, but my parents always go to all the games. So do Mike's parents. So like, it's not that I haven't had help, but like when I go to Avery's games, I'm like half paying attention. I'm paying attention to her, but also taking care of them, right? If you have, if you know the situation I'm in, you understand what I'm saying. And so it just, it's like a full production, you know, especially when they were little, like diaper bags and making sure snacks and we had everything to entertain them at the games. And obviously now it's getting easier as they get older. But this night, the twins had soccer practice. So it was just me and Avery at home by ourselves. And it was just, she was um, actually making a binder of Halloween coloring pages for the girls. I'll put a clip here. She was in the computer room printing stuff out and making this binder for them. And it was just really relaxing to be at home. Um, Cause when the twins were younger, or when, yeah, when the twins were younger and Mike was at a soccer practice or something with Avery, I'm at home with two, you know, toddlers and it was just always so chaotic. And now, I mean, Avery's eight and a half. So she was just kind of doing her own thing. And I was meal prepping and I was going to vacuum and mop later on. And it just seemed like a really relaxing evening. It was kind of weird. So I wrapped the sandwiches in parchment paper and then again in foil. Good evening. Just washed my face. Got a nice long shower. I wash my hair two nights a week. I found that as I've gotten older, my hair gets a little bit drier and then the dry shampoo just makes that worse. So two times a week it is. It used to be once a week. So I went and washed my hair feel good but I'm going to finish out this day by vacuuming mopping you guys to be 100% honest with you I don't remember the last time that our floors were mopped physically by a person we've had a very busy week a very busy like I think last weekend was the busiest we've been since probably June on a whole weekend we had stuff Friday I think we had three things to do um three two parties, soccer game, softball practice on Saturday, and then Sunday we had a few small things. So typically our weekends are not that jam packed. So it was a very busy weekend and I typically will mop at least one on the weekend and I have not done it all this week. So I am actually going to mop myself. I'm just telling you, it's been well over a week since I physically mopped this floor. So I'm gonna do it um so i can have a nice clean house and nice clean floors just sharing that because sometimes life happens you get busy don't beat yourself up you know we always want to wash our sheets every week mop our floors multiple times a week but sometimes life gets in the way and you don't do it but you know what no one is going to die so
like I said, the twins were at soccer and it was really dark. They, you'll see them get home here in a minute. When they walk in, they got to wear their, well, they said Halloween costumes. So they just wore princess dresses because their Halloween costumes, they're those like big blow up costumes. If you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, Emery's going to be a unicorn. Addison's going to be a dog. And they're like the ones with the little fans in it that look like they're like a big blow up thing. So they couldn't have worn those to soccer practice, but they do this every year around this time of the year. They let the kids wear their Halloween costumes, but so the twins just grabbed some princess dresses and wore that. So they got home. I was finishing up vacuuming and mopping and Mike was giving them a bath, getting them all put to bed. But yeah, it's, you know, it just feels like a whole different life, you know, now that I feel like we don't just have little kids. I mean, we still have little kids, but they're growing up. They're doing more things and I'm getting more time to myself. I'm getting more freedom to keep up with the stuff that I want to do. And it's just seem, it just seems like it's been forever since that's happened. And you just realize they're growing up so quickly. <laughs> So I came across these O Cedar um, packs. You just drop them in the mop bucket and it dissolves like that. I came across them on Amazon and I thought I'd give them a try. They're kind of pricey and I still want to keep trying those. It's really hard to know whether a floor cleaner truly works or not because how do you know if one is better than the other? Um, I don't know. They're convenient. I like using them. I typically use one teaspoon of powdered Tide, that's my go-to, or the Mr. Clean Multi-Purpose Cleaner. There's, um, I usually get the green kind because I think it's scented with Febreze. So those are usually my go-to because I had a cleaning lady one time tell me that she's cleaned floors for 30 years and she thought the Mr. Clean Multi-Surface, Multi-Purpose Cleaner was the one of the best floor cleaners she had ever tried. So I keep using that, kind of alternate it with the Tide. smells good in here. I'm not sure what I think about the O-Cedar packets. I do like them. The floor does feel really clean under my feet, but I do like the smell of Tide. Maybe I'm just crazy, but it just like when I smell that, it makes me think of like fresh laundry. I do like the scent of Tide and it's obviously cheaper than the packs. I'll probably do what I always do, keep a packet of the packs around um, and then still use my Tide or whatever. Um, you guys know I like to switch it up. I feel like I clean so much that I just get bored of using the same stuff over and over. So jury's still out on those. Um, if you guys use them, let me know what you think. It's kind of hard sometimes because like, how do you know if one cleaner, how do you know if one floor cleaner works better than the other? I mean, cause it's like, yeah, my water was dirty, but what would have looked like if I would have used a different cleaner? I don't know. So anyways. They're convenient. Um, if you guys check them out, try them. Let me know what you think. But this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm thankful for you. So thank you guys so much for being here. And don't forget, there is still two chances to win $100 in PayPal cash giveaway on my latest cleaning marathon. It's a fall deep cleaning marathon. There's videos from the old house. So it's kind of fun to go back. And I thought it could also be helpful because we had an electric 
stove top. So if you have that, you can go back and see how I did that, what products I used. Things are different. Um, it was a different house. The girls were little, so just kind of fun to go back. So I think that giveaway runs, is it ends? I could be wrong, but I think it's right before Halloween. Um, so I will have that linked in the description. So go check that out. Two chances to win $100 in PayPal cash. Thank you guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, wonderful week, wonderful day, whatever time you're watching this. Thank you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.